In today's episode, Mark Schaefer asked me to review his new book, The Marketing Rebellion. Uh, this is a book about making marketing more human. And in a lot of ways, uh, after having read through it, it is a book about, for marketers, focusing more on the things that matter to customers and, well, frankly, being uh, <clears throat> less lazy in our approach to the way we use marketing technology. Now, there are a couple of minor nitpicks I have about the book, um, in particular for brands that uh, ha have already scaled. It is much more difficult for them to implement a lot of recommendations in here than it is for, say, like an artisanal uh, soap shop, which can be founder and value driven right away uh, for something like, uh, you know, P&G, uh, it's going to be a little harder to do that. The other thing that I wish Mark had talked more about in this book was m looking at the data to help you understand better who your market is and isn't. He does a good job of explaining from a, uh, I guess, a human perspective. But when you look at the marketplace right now, especially if you look from a, a macroeconomic perspective, there are very, very different behavioral segments that... Uh, we have to approach. There is an entire group of people who shop at Sephora, but there's also a huge group of people that shop at Dollar General. And many of the tactics and the ideas in this book uh, need to be, in some cases, heavily modified to fit different markets. And it's, it's in here at a human level, but uh, I w wish there was some more data on it. No surprise there. Um, the one part I strongly agree with is that marketers have... Marketers are using technology in the wrong way. There's nothing wrong with automation. In fact, I think automation is probably the thing that has saved marketers most of their sanity. Uh, it's just that the systems they use have been poorly connected uh, and ineptly deployed. If there is no excuse in 2019 for someone to send out an email to a customer who's already bought the thing. I was sending out emails yesterday for... Um, for my new book, and uh, I, I uploaded the purchase list of customers as a knockout on the segmentation, saying, "Don't send this email to people who've already bought it. There's no point, right? They they bought the book and they know it exists. If they want to buy another one, they may, maybe they will." And so it's just making sure that as marketers, we go that extra mile to make sure our technology is doing what we would have done uh, if we actually cared about the customer. But even more than that, when it comes to looking for insights about your customers. Uh, as one of the things in the in the manifesto in this book, machine learning offers an incredible path forward for marketers if they have either the right software and the knowledge or the right partners and agencies to do this. Companies are sitting on so much information, so much information that they're not using. It's it's sitting, it's locked away. It's in a it's in the equivalent of that big cardboard box in your office that you you know you never unpacked from the last time you moved offices. Um, and that's where all the good stuff is. Your customer service inbox is a, a, one of the best market research sources you could possibly ask for because customers, you don't have to go out and pay to talk to customers. Customers come to you, but if that data never gets used, then it's not helping. It's not helping your marketing. So I would encourage, um, every marketer, but, but particularly the ones who read through the marketing rebellion to look at the data you already have. When Mark talks about how the customer is in charge of your marketing, he's right. Go look on Yelp or Glassdoor or G2 Crowd or any of these uh, review sites or Amazon. Go look at your inbox, your CRM, your call center transcripts. The customer is telling you everything you need to know, everything you could possibly want to know about your company if you have the ears to listen. I, that was one of my favorite quotes from um, the Christian Bible is that he who has ears should listen. Well, yeah. <laughs> when you look at the, what the customers are telling us, by the way, the, the uh, cover is missing because I don't like the feel of those like glossy covers. Just remove them. Um, this is what the book looks like underneath. When you listen to customers, when you use software to, to dig through insights and pick you know, a good algorithm to do so, you will get much more actionable insights that will help you move your marketing forward far better than uh, 
any technology alone can do. The technology can't solve the problem. There are, there's sort of a three-legged stool when it comes to all marketing technology uh, solutions. It's people, process, and platform. The, pr the platform is easy. That's the easiest part. The technology is the easiest part. The hardest part is typically actually the people. Uh, getting your people to change how they do work, getting your people to level up their skills, and then setting in place processes for them to do so. So it is, uh, it is an important challenge that you need to tackle. So should you buy this book? Absolutely. You should buy this book, uh, and you should read it. You should especially read page 175 through 176, which is the Manifesto for Human-Centered Marketing. Um, number two in particular, technology should be invisible to the customer, and only used to help your company be more compassionate. Number three is also interesting and important too. You can't own the customer, and it's true. You, we cannot own uh, a relationship. The 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 relationships uh, custodian is the customer from the customer side. We can grow the relationship, or we can diminish it through our actions, but we can't own it per se. Um, and I think even more important in this is something that's not necessarily in here, but relevant is that people seldom do business with a brand. People do business with other people who work at that brand. And so your, your marketing is only as good as your least good customer facing employee. So back to people process and platform, the platform and the process can help improve that least good employee or tell you to counsel them out one of the two but that is sort of the what will define your marketing i'm about to head this morning over to the department of motor vehicles there's an organization that has historically not been as customer focused as it should be uh, and it will be interesting to see what happens as uh, over time as technology there improves the customer experience by saying automation may actually be an improvement over the humans who work there. Just get rid of the humans and have machines do everything. Because if your customer experience is so bad that a machine is better than a human, then use the machine. You'll automatically deliver a uniform, mediocre experience. And in a lot of cases, mediocre is better than awful. Right? I can't really think of a, a case where, where uh, awful is a better choice. <laughs> so in any event, the Marketing Rebellion... Uh, on sale wherever books are sold. Uh, it is a good read. It is a fun read. Uh, if you ha have ever wanted to sit down over coffee or a beer with Mark, reading this book is like just sitting across the table from him and listening to him. It is very much the, his tone and the way he speaks as a human being. So uh, very much worth a read uh, if you've ever wanted to sit down with him. Uh, as always, please uh, leave your questions in the comments. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and the newsletter. I'll talk to you soon. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit trustinsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.